We're also seeing far too many cases of very young people being drawn into poisonous online extremism. Sadly, 13% of all those being investigated by MI5 for involvement in UK terrorism are under 18. That's a threefold increase in the last three years. Extreme right-wing terrorism in particular skews heavily towards young people, driven by propaganda that shows a canny understanding of online culture. Managing complex risks intelligently requires varied professional expertise. For those planning attacks, a criminal justice outcome is generally needed. But for some vulnerable individuals, alternative interventions delivered by a wider range of partners may be more effective. Which brings me to my next point, a predictable one, but no less crucial for that. It's hard to overstate the centrality of the online world in enabling today's threats. In both Islamist extremist and extreme right-wing terrorism, lone individuals indoctrinated online continue to make up most of the threats. In dark corners of the internet, talk is cheap. Sorting the real plotters from armchair extremists is an exacting task. Anonymous online connections are often inconsequential, but a minority lead to deadly real-world actions. We see this in recent convictions of British teenagers. One planned to attack a British synagogue. Another posted material that inspired deadly mass shootings in the US. A third drew up plans to stab people at a music festival and shared terrorist propaganda online. When so much plotting takes place on the internet, our ability to track the online activity <clears throat> of those who mean us harm is utterly crucial. Maintaining proportionate lawful access to such communications in the face of ever more prevalent encryption is sometimes our only means of detecting and understanding these threats. Privacy and exceptional lawful access can coexist if absolutist positions are avoided. World-class encryption experts are confident of this. The alternative is allowing child abusers and terrorists to operate at scale without fear of the consequences.